Unicorn 2 is the, the new Unicorn 1, so it's, it's taking all the lessons that we learned with Unicorn 1 and actually building a really powerful satellite. So it's, um, Unicorn 1 had 1 watt of power, Unicorn 2 has 20 watts of power, completely blows everything out of the water. Um, so we, Unicorn 2 is actually something you can do a lot of things with and it has a lot of uh, applications. One of the other the advantages what we make use of it. Um, instead of using you know single cells, we have adopted a two cell topology, which is having a reduced um, power loss. So um, that is one of the greatest advantages, which makes us more flexibility in um, adding custom payloads. So this can be uh, any range of payloads we can, so which is having a higher flexibility in terms of um, payload um, adaptability as possible. The standard for, for kind of small satellites right now is a CubeSat and um, we are reaching performance levels where the Unicorn 2 has the same performance as the 3U CubeSat. So I mean, it costs about the same amount of price, but it's, it's a fraction of the price to launch. So that's really where the value of going small comes from. We have the world's first active ADCS for Pocket Cube. Um, so we have reaction wheels and all three axes. We have magnetorkers, sun sensors, gyros, uh, magnetometers. Um, all the electronics are also integrated into what we call the backplane. So there really is only one circuit board that does uh, EPS, OBC, and uh, ADCS. So this is like a world first. And it's really, we've tried to take mobile phone philosophy and integrate everything into one, one circuit board. The other major uh, things where we, we use, you know, specialized battery heaters to provide additional power or maximize the capacity of the battery when it goes to the eclipse mode where the temperature are expected to go very low. With Unicorn 2 we're really just trying to show people that it's possible to build a really good pocket cube, a really capable pocket cube that can do uh, a whole bunch of use cases. So previously the argument was, well, pocket cubes are small, they're cheap, but they can't really do much. With Unicorn 2, we're trying to answer the, well, can you do something useful with a pocket cube and can you build a really useful platform? And then we've now done that with Unicorn 2 and it really has um, really solid specs for, for a pocket cube and even for a low-end cube set. For Unicorn 2, we're talking to people from cryptocurrency, we're doing deals in terms of Earth observation and communication. Um, there's a, a huge kind of span of uh, things you can do. Um, so we're looking, talking to people that are um, taking signals from aircraft, uh, those that want to have a kind of cryptocurrency node in space, uh, those that want to image the Earth in unique ways. Uh, so there's a whole breadth of things that you can do.